ambitious program that's caught the philanthropic attentions of some of Australia's biggest companies. The One Laptop Per Child organisation was formed in the United States five years ago to create an affordable educational device for use in developing countries. One Laptop Per Child is trying to boost numeracy and literacy rates in these remote communities, giving each child an educational laptop. So far, 1,500 laptops have been delivered to children in remote parts of the Northern Territory in Western Australia, with a plan to distribute 400,000 over the next five years. Laptops are great for kids. They're set up like um, a game. I mean, when they open them, it looks fun, it's engaging. They can see everyone else that's online, they can chat with each other, and they can play games with each other. And I think, yeah, that connection is really nice. It'll be a very big change for our students when they're using these laptops, because when, when we were going through school and we didn't have, the, have these advantages, like these children are going to have. One Laptop Per Child program will just provide them with an exposure to new technologies so that they can um, use that technology for things that they are interested in doing. Students here, the world ends here, but there's a big world out there. Having the exos in the classroom has enabled the kids to learn significant computer skills, um, accessing the internet, as well as word processing. So really overall I think the exo, in our, exo experience in our school has been amazing. Um, the support we've received from ILPC has been wonderful and I'm just absolutely honoured to be able to participate in this program in our school. The programs on them are suitable for all ages, all learning styles as well. The students are going to take the EXO and they're going to take ownership of their own learning. I, th I think it's a, a powerful tool, it's a powerful resource. The students are, are just going to go full force with it. The way the world is working, if you want to get a job anywhere, especially if it's off the Mornington Island, those kids are really going to have to have a really good understanding of technology. So I think in that way, it will really help connect them to hopefully future jobs. Having the EXOs at Manangrita School has been somewhat of a technological revelation. With over 200 devices shared between the hub school and the homeland school, it's just been so exciting to see students and teachers engage with the EXOs. They use the cameras, um, they look at their self and like make funny faces and stuff and like I try not to laugh. They are having fun with it. What I would like to say to the corporate partners that uh, have been involved in this program, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of Doomadgee State School and behalf, on behalf of our children and the children of the other schools that are benefiting from this uh, initiative. Our children, while they are remote, need to be able to engage in these technologies so they have an equal chance as everyone else in Australia and the world to engage in that global economy.